Hi everyone! In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this freeze frame echo motion trail effect using the new freeze frame feature in the PowerDirector app. This tutorial will make use of the freeze frame feature in blending modes. Check out more tutorials about these tools in the description below. Since we'll be using blending modes, you'll need a bright environment to shoot your footage in. Make sure the subject in your scene are wearing dark colored clothing to get a good contrast to achieve better results. And as always, a tripod is highly recommended to help keep your camera steady. Also, you want to set your camera to a higher frame rate to reduce blurs. For this tutorial, we'll be choosing 16 frames per second. Moving on to filming, shoot a sequence of actions on one shot. Feel free to film multiple takes and choose the best one. Start off by importing your clip onto the timeline and placing it on the main track. Move the playhead to where you want to freeze the frame, then tap edit and select freeze frame. A snapshot of the frame will be created. Move the snapshot to your overlay track 1. Adjust the length of the overlay track to match where you freeze framed. On the same track, tap edit, blending modes and choose darken. Next, add a mask to mask around your subject. You want to make the mask as refined as possible to make sure you're not masking any additional objects or surroundings. Then move the playhead to where you want to do the second freeze frame. Move the second snapshot to the second overlay track and adjust the length. Add the same blending mode edits and masking as you've done for overlay track 1 for the second track. Select your third freeze frame and repeat the editing steps as the first two freeze frames. Now that we're finished with the freeze frame, we'll move on to creating the echo motion trail effect. First, tap the original clip on the main track, then duplicate the clip, move the duplicated clip onto the next overlay track below. To make editing easier, expand the timeline. Adjust the duplicated overlay track to start two frames after the clip on the main track. Then tap edit, opacity and lower the opacity down to about 30 and add a keyframe. Test the settings to see what level of opacity works for your clip. Move the playhead a bit further along the timeline and lower the opacity to zero and another keyframe will automatically be added. Trim down the video to keep the sections you need. Then add the same darkened blending mode to the clip. Since we don't want any echo effects to cover our clip on the main track, the blending mode that we've added will only keep the echo effects in the back. Lastly, duplicate the clip where we just created the echo motion trail effect and move it down to the next overlay track below and move it two frames back. Let's check out our finished result again. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Try out this freeze frame effect and let us know what you think in the comments below. See you guys next time!